A few months ago, we told you about a Red Wing man's determination to finish a passion project. Well, it turns out his hard work is unsinkable. As Maury Glover shows us, he's ready to say bon voyage to this chapter of his life. It's a, it's a big load off my, off my shoulders. After nearly a decade and a half of hard work, Donnie Gilliland is ready to set sail on his next big adventure. It's quite a relief. It's quite a relief. I can't wait to get out and enjoy it more. Last spring, we told you how Gilliland, who comes from a family of commercial fishermen and grew up on the Mississippi, decided to build his own houseboat because it was less expensive than trying to find a fixer-upper. For 14 years, he spent nights and weekends turning his dream into a reality out of marine-grade plywood, fiberglass, and primer paint, finishing a couple of weeks ago after retiring from 3M earlier this month. The hardest part was finding the drive to keep going on it to finish it. That was the hardest part. With his wife Rochelle as his first mate on the Sylvia Sea, named after his mother, Gilliland launched his labor of love on her maiden voyage last weekend. He plans to take it on a few short overnight trips with his grandsons this summer and then travel to Mobile, Alabama on it with his wife next year. I knew all along it was going to float, but my main concern is, and probably still is, is a slow leak over a long period of time. Those are the ones that will get you. So I'm constantly on the lookout for that. And then down inside of here, you have the cabin. With all the comforts of home, Gilden says his houseboat will be the perfect place to relax and write a book about his childhood. And now that his passion project is complete, he's ready to captain his own future. Over time, I knew I could do it, so yeah, it's... It's, it's a great sense of satisfaction. There's a lot of things we're going to do yet, but this is a major part of it. In Red Wing, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Mm, well, well done, done. Yeah, right? Beautiful. He should take some, such pride, but I understand what he means when he says the hardest part was just seeing it through. Because mm -hmm. you should get to, to the point where you're like, I don't want to look at this yeah. anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. But uh, The magnitude of a job like that, a project like yeah. that is enormous. And that big trip next summer will be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs>